Welcome back everyone to DNS Fabrication. Today we're switching things up a little bit. We have some beautiful weather outside and I'm going camping in two days. So we're going to take a break from the Samurai and we're going to put some effort into my Toyota 4Runner. Today what I'd like to do is build some molly panels for the rear cargo over the rear windows. And I also want to finish off my drawer system by putting some front face plates on here. We're going to do this out of 16 gauge aluminum sheet. We're going to cut it in our CNC plasma table and then we're gonna assemble it by the end of this video. One of the big reasons I wanna do these molly panels is because I actually sleep in the back of the 4Runner. This cargo box will extend out into a sleep platform. And whenever you're sleeping in here overnight, you can't get into your drawers unless you open the rear tailgate. I'm really excited for this guys, as well as these front drawer faces. This is something I've wanted to do for a long time. I think it's gonna make the back of this look really cool and provide a lot of function when I'm out camping. The way we're gonna approach this is we're gonna take some pictures of this cargo space. We're also gonna pull some measurements from here. And then we might even mock up a panel using a piece of cardboard. And then what we can do is import that into SolidWorks. We can dimension that photo to real life uh, measurements based on the reference point. And then we can actually get that contour the way that we want it to look and fit it really nicely into that section of the window. So I got my tape measure, I brought a caliper over. We're gonna climb up in here and I'm gonna pull some of these measurements out. Perfect, I grabbed a few of these numbers and the next step is to throw this into SolidWorks. My plan when looking at this, there's a few different mounting holes that I'm gonna leverage. This is probably the same as a lot of the other companies on the market building these. But we have a nice cargo hitch here, up here on the top, and then the hook up here. So we're gonna leverage those three points for mounting. I jotted down some of those measurements. And the next step will be to take a photo of this, and then we're gonna extract that. We'll dimension it based on reference, and we'll throw it in SolidWorks and get designing. I think this turned out wicked. We got the first molly panel cut out and I think it was a success. There was a bit of a flaw, which you guys may have seen. Um, this Forerunner logo was cut out last. So I need to rearrange the ordering of that G-code because what happened is they cut out the outside border and then the piece dropped down onto the table and you can lose a little bit of that alignment there, causing this Forerunner to maybe get skewed a little bit or to miss some of the alignment of where it should be. Definitely a minor detail because it worked out and I was able to just hold it uh, manually on the table. But for the next piece, I need to make sure that this gets cut out before the outside border.
guys. We just spent a good amount of time cleaning this up. I used a combination of a flap disc and a knotted wire wheel. The difficult part is just deburring all these inside corners. These little sections for the inside, you can see this R is kind of getting skewed. They're quite flimsy. I'm gonna have to beef those up in my model because there's not enough material to hold those inner parts of the letters. But all in all, I think this is looking awesome. Running the knotted wire wheel gave us a really good finish. So I can prep the painting. I'm gonna use a self-etching primer and then I have an enamel paint to go over top of this. Maybe you guys noticed this, but I didn't just until now. It says the four punter. <laughs> I'm gonna have to probably manually cut the R in there. I don't really know what happened with that. I mean, I make a lot of puns, but I definitely did not mean to make this a four punter. You know, as much as I should be cutting this second part of the R in there, I think I might leave it. I think it's kind of fitting. What do you guys think? <laughs> Let me know in the comments if I, uh, I'm gonna leave this for now, but if you think it's stupid, I should cut that out. For the first iteration, I think this might add just the touch of character that we need. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna start with this bottom corner. I've marked a dot here where I think it's gonna line up best. So I'll actually manually drill this hole. And then when I mount it with the standoff, I can then fine tune it on how high I want it to be on the other side and make sure the body lines look good. But I think before that, what I'm gonna do is mirror this and then I'm gonna cut out the other side. And I'm not too worried about getting these holes cut on a plasma cutter because I can just lay this on top as a template of the other one when I figure out exactly where these holes should be. And I can just drill them out on the other side. All right, so we finished up that driver side. So now we have both the passenger. Passenger one is here. And the driver section is here. So the only thing left now, I'm probably gonna deburr a little bit more on the inside of these cutouts. They're a little bit rough in there and I really don't want them to abrase the straps. Cause over time, uh, moving around on logging roads, I definitely don't want those cutting into the straps of the bags that I put on here. And then unfortunately on here, it didn't cut out the one section of the E. And then again, we have another four punter. So we're 90% there. I think I'm gonna call it there for the evening. I need to go around to the hardware store and get the standoffs needed to actually mount them onto the sides. So that's what I'll tackle tomorrow. I'll get those standoffs going. And then once we drill the final holes, I'll do a proper prime and a proper paint of them, and then we can do a final install. Hey everyone, so we fast forwarded a few days and I'm back at the Forerunner and we're here to install the rest of these Molly panels. I ended up going to pick up some hardware. So I have some bolts to run into the side of the Forerunner, and then I got an aluminum piece of tube 
and we'll use this as a standoff from the mounting holes on the side of the Forerunner onto the actual molly panels. I am leaving to go camping tomorrow and I would love to use these molly panels there. So I'd like to get going on this and get the install going. All right, so unfortunately the bolts that I bought are just a little bit too short. The length of standoff that I need is probably about two and a half inches, and I just don't get enough thread engagement to hold it on there securely. But I'm gonna continue marching forward on this design and this style, and then we'll try to go to the hardware store maybe when we're, this paint is drying on the, on the molly panels. I've gone ahead and fastened the bottom corner in on the mounting hole that we know is good, and I'm just gonna mock up where I wanna drill the holes to mount to this upper bolt. I'm going to probably do two, uh, two bolt holes through here and then I'm going to design and cut a bracket that will go up and use this factory bolt so we don't have to tap into any of this plastic. And then once this one is done, we'll jump on down and figure out where this final hole should be. We can drill that out and then we'll do a final coat of paint. So what I'm thinking is we're going to run something flat from here. So we're looking at about two and a half inches to um, the edge of this trim and about an inch and a half off there. So I'm gonna start with a four inch long bracket and then I want it to be at least two inches at width for the mounting here and then I'm probably gonna taper it down to one inch to go up to the top. So let's draw this out. It is time to paint everyone. So I ended up putting all the molly panels and the hardware on some welding wire and hung it from this little pallet contraption here. So I've got a good area to paint. It's nice and warm and sunny out. I'm going to be using a self etching primer on top of this aluminum. I've already done a little bit of an abrasive polish on this with a wire wheel and some sandpaper. So this is prepped for paint. We're gonna run a couple coats of this and then we're gonna put on an enamel black uh, paint on top of it. Oh man, it is warm out there. Good for painting though. We got the uh, all the molly panels finished and painted and I think they're looking pretty great. I also ended up painting some of the little hardware extensions that we had and I made a little bit of a switch up. So I know we previously discussed using some standoffs, aluminum standoffs with some bolts but I could not find long enough bolts and I couldn't get any M6 ready rod to be able to make my own out of them. 
So I switched out to some aluminum brackets. And that way we can just use two fasteners on either end. And these will just stand off the molly panel from those stock mounting locations and give us what we're looking for. So a bit of a change. And I just have to paint these on the other side. And then we're going to get them installing on the Forerunner. I ended up pre-ordering some molly bags because I knew I was going to be building these. So I have a couple different kinds here. I've got three in total. Two of these smaller ones. I've decided I'm going to put um, my first aid kit in here. So that way it's really easy to lock up there and grab really quickly. Essentially these snaps just feed through these different panels and then you can quickly grab it from the bottom, rip it off and have easy access to it. So I have this bag ready for that. And then I picked up this other bag, which will actually fold down and hold itself up. Just gotta open it up here. So it's got this drawstring, which keeps it open. I think this is gonna be really good for the sleeping setup, like I mentioned. So I can have this sitting here, it'll remain open, and then easy access parts like my headlamp, my phone, any charging cables. They can go into these different pouches. It's got these nice organizers, another part up here and then a zippered pouch here for things like a knife or headlamps or whatever you might need. And then these drawer slides. I didn't get too much content on cutting and designing these for you guys, so I'm sorry about that, but they turned out really nice. I had a few hiccups along the way, so they aren't exactly as I'd like them to look, but I like how they are still. This was a super fun project. It was nice to do something from start to finish. It was nice to have a break from the Samurai. If you haven't checked out the Samurai build, now's the time. I'll put a link up here. But yeah, it was nice to do something from start to finish, have a little bit of creative creativity with designing and really make this back of the Forerunner a little bit more functional. Well, that about wraps it up for this video, everyone. I had a lot of fun with this project. There's gonna be a lot more for this Forerunner. One of the next big videos is going to be a custom roof rack for the Forerunner, and then eventually we'll get to bumpers. If you liked what you saw, please remember to subscribe and like the video, and then throw any comments down if you wanna see anything different, or if you have any suggestions on some of the decisions that I've made. But that's it for now. We'll see you guys next time.